Hello everybody, it's Jim Regis 13 here, coming at you with the Jim Regis Airport update of Des Moines International Airport. In today's update, it's been a long, long time uh, since I've actually made a video of this model airport. Uh, I'll get to the reasons why. Anyways, the new content that is involved in this airport, the last time I didn't have American because the MD-80 didn't come out, that's how long time ago it was. Uh, only thing new is the MD-90 Delta, the American MD-80 finally, I can have a flight to DFW now on American. And I have a Southwest 737-800 because recently they have actually been using a 7382 Des Moines, which is nice change from the 700 and 300. So anyways, the reason why, I might have touched on this a little bit, uh, I kind of use this airport mat as a, uh, as a, like a, a holding ground just to put all my planes and because I have shelf rooms, but I'm too lazy to keep bending down and up to put planes down. So this was just easier for me and would save my back a few a few times from going up and down, up and down. So I've just been stockpiling all my aircrafts on here, hence the reason why LGB wasn't even updated a while, uh, for a while, because I use the same mat, just different format. But anyways, we're finally here today, of an airport update of DSM. Some Des Moines airport news. Las Vegas has started, that started September 28th last year. Um, US Airways will be operating three daily flights to Phoenix this year. This summer, I believe, three daily Saturday nines, and Southwest, like I said, seven through eights going on. Allegiant started service to Point de Gorda, I believe. They actually have an extensive network now from Des Moines, which is impressive. Anyways, I'll stop chit chat and I'll start talking more about where these all these planes are going virtually. And we're gonna start with the United Airlines A320. Now, from Des Moines, there are two mainline nonstop destinations, which is Charlotte. That's you would you would think that would be kind of a given, but uh, no, it's not a given. Apparently, DSM beats us on mainline flights, which is quite embarrassing. Anyways, A320 United with nonstop service to Denver, Colorado. Now I have a format just for show. Really, this isn't going to be the official format. I just kind of wanted to have it have all the MDs next to each other. In reality, it's going to be um, Allegiant will probably park here. I mean, uh, this will be an extra United Express gate. Um, this would be the Allegiant gate. Delta will have their two gates, and then uh, the New American. I'm still trying to sort out who has what, and then Southwest has their one, but Frontier. So I'll, I'll figure it out soon. Anyways, like I said, he's going to Denver. So enjoy this format. I mean, I really like it. I might have to do this every so often. Right now, you're looking at three MD-80s. Well, not they're not all MD-80s, but well, their type is not all an MD-80. Right here, you have an MD-82 Allegiant. Getting ready for a flight out to Las Vegas, Nevada. Delta Airlines MD-90 with nonstop service to Atlanta, Hartsfield, Jackson. And last but not least, the American Airlines MD-82 nonstop service to Dallas, Fort Worth. We have a U.S. Airways. I'm going to kind of pull the camera around here and get a better view. All right. This is a uh, U.S. Airways paint scheme, A319. This is the Nevada State Library Battleborn. This aircraft just arrived in from Phoenix Sky Harbor, and it's going to park over at Gate 2 and prepare for a flight back to Phoenix Sky Harbor. And like I said, this mainline 319 won't be around in the summer, but there will be an extra CRJ 900, which is always good, because I really like the CRJ 900. Actually, out of all the CRJs, the CRJ 9 is definitely my favorite, but the 200 is my favorite to fly on, though. Very fun to fly on. All right. US Air Express CRJ 900. This aircraft is making, a, I believe it's Air Shuttle Flight 2791 with non-stop service at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. I might have gotten a few numbers off, but it's either 2791 or the other one's 2680 something, something like that type. Last but not least, you have a Frontier Airlines A319 Jack the Rabbit with non-stop service to Denver, Colorado. They offer one daily flight a day to DSM. Sometimes in the summer, they'll have a uh, some extra usage. So they'll have two daily, depending. You know, it's Frontier, so you can't really I'm not saying you can't expect much, but their frontier is like kind of a last minute thing. Like they'll change depending on the demand. So that's kind of my thinking on that. Just we'll wait and see. So here's a quick overview of everything. So I'm glad. The only thing I'm looking for, just need a United CRJ 200 or United CRJ 700 and just need the new American CRJs to be released. And then this will look much better because it looks like a mainline airport. I mean, they get a decent amount of mainline. We need more connections to make it look right, and especially Delta. Like I can't even have a MSP flight or Detroit without a CRJ 700 or 900 or 200. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Trying to think of the next airport. I don't really know what I'm doing now, but 
I'll leave on this note. Thank you guys for watching. I'll try to keep it. I try to keep videos short, but sometimes I start talking too much. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll try to update this every one to two months. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.